Hi guys! In this video, I invite you to get ready for school with me. I'm going to show you hair and makeup from pretty much start to finish as I would do every day for school. I'm starting here with naked face and second day hair. First things first, take it down and get out your dry shampoo. I gotta shake it up pretty liberally. I'm using Tresemme's Fresh Start. It's one of my favorite ones. And I am just gonna be spraying that all into my hair, definitely sectioning it off and kind of splitting it apart so that way I can get it way into the roots and really massage it in there and then we're gonna brush it out in a second. Now we're going to start brushing the dry shampoo out, and I'm just basically doing the very best I can to detangle everything from when I slipped on it and to brush out all of the white dry shampoo that I can see. And now I'm going to put my hair into a high ponytail. And for some reason this morning it took a whole lot of work. So yeah, there are a couple jump cuts in here. But this took a lot longer than it normally takes me to. I could not tell you why. But we're going to do a high ponytail because we are going to make a very nice bun for my very nice second day hair. Success and level Ariana Grande. Just kidding. Um, now we're going to take this bun form from, I believe, Conair. It has a little slit in the middle, and if you notice, it's a straight piece. I don't use the donuts because my hair gets tangled on them, and so you saw how easy that was. I basically just rolled it up. It has wire in the middle, so you just bend it into a circle and adjust your hair around it, and you have a perfect donut bun without your hair getting tangled around the hair donut. It's great. I'm smoothing everything out now and getting out some tendrils so it doesn't look quite so done and these naturally fall out anyway so I may as well pull them out now we're going to do makeup this is L'Oreal's Silky Sheer SPF 30 sunscreen I know it's the dead of winter but even in the dead of winter you need sunscreen and as you can tell rubbing my face in the morning while it's naked kinda does make it a little red but it'll disappear when I put my makeup on now we're going to moisturize with Clean and Clear's gel moisturizer Gel moisturizers are good for oily skin because they do not over moisturize. And this one smells pretty great. For makeup, we are going to put on Holika Holika's Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream, which is a Korean product that I like a whole lot. And I'm getting it out with a little spatula there. And I'm just going to apply it all over my face with my fingers, and you will see the redness pretty much instantly disappear. This is a really good BB cream. It has medium to full coverage depending on what you're trying to cover. But since I really just have freckles and redness, it's pretty darn close to full coverage. And this one as well is really great at controlling oil. I'm not overly oily, but I still am oily and it keeps me pretty matte for most of the day. Now I'm going to get a little bit of concealer, and this is a Physician's Formula Ageless Spotless Concealer that comes with a little rollerball thing. I'm putting it under my eyes on top of my BB cream and just patting it in. I love this concealer a lot. And now I'm going back in with BB cream and putting it on my eyelids and using it to kind of even further conceal my under eyes. They're that bad today that I have to double duty with concealer and BB, but they work really well together. And the face base is done, so now we're going to powder it so it will all stay. I'm using Revlon's Color Stay Powder in Translucent and a really ancient Bare Minerals Kabuki Brush. Now I'm going to use Benefit Sunbeam to highlight my face. Starting with the cheekbones first, I'm just dotting it on with the brush and patting it in with my fingers. I love Sunbeam because it adds warmth back into my face because your face does tend to be kind of anti-dimensional and very flat when you use a foundation and this really helps warm the skin tone back up as well as add a highlight. Bridge of the nose is next, patting it in, and now the chin. We're going to pat that in as well. 
I pat this in instead of using a stipple brush because when I use a stipple brush, the sparkle and the lovely bronzy color kind of disappear too much. And weird lighting fixed. Now I'm going to be putting it onto my forehead in this awkward V shape that looks like a very poorly drawn bird. And we're going to pat that in. Now I'm going to put on blusher. This is Skin Foods Rose Essence Blusher in number 5, which is purple. I'm patting it on with the poof it comes with. And now to brows. I'm using Anastasia's Dip Brow Palmade and chocolate. It is in the color chocolate, which is pretty dark. I like to have my brows darker than my hair color. And I'm using just this plain soft angled brush to fill it in. I really do not like the brush that they sell to use with the Dip Brow Pomade. The spoolie hurts and the brush is really stiff and it hurts the skin under my eyebrow, so I don't like to use it. This as well gives a less cartoony, way more natural finish. And as you can see, I've really been letting my brows go crazy and that is why they are so thick is because I just got tired of them being wimpy. And I'm adjusting them. And now for mascara, I'm using L'Oreal's Butterfly and it's the waterproof kind. Waterproof is great guys, you don't have fallout and you don't get raccoon eyes. And the wand is shaped really interestingly and I've just curled my lashes and I'm applying it. Curling your lashes does make all the difference, I promise. It makes your eyes look so much more open. And mascara makes a big difference too. It just makes you look and feel way, way more girly. Now we're going to do the lips and we're going to use Tony Moly's Petite Bunny Gloss Bar and number 5 Peach. Which is, I use day to day for a natural look. And that'll be it. And there's me dancing to the music I'm playing on my morning playlist. And that'll be it. Thanks for watching. And I kind of want you to see the fun I had this morning. You can buy me so many rings and na 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 smell her on your collar so good bye 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 yeah I know you're lying cause your lips are moving tell me do you think I'm dumb I might be young but I'm not stupid talk around in circles with your tongue I gave you bass you gave me sweet talk, saying I'll be your number one. Cause I know you're that, cause your lips are moving. Baby, don't you know I'm done. Back to makeup now. Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Bye.